Hello students, welcome back to the control system class. In the previous sessions, we have seen the broad classification of control systems and then we did electrical systems, modeling of it and finding the transfer function of it and then we moved on to mechanical systems. There we have seen that there are two kinds of mechanical system that is mechanical translation system and mechanical rotational systems. We have modeled it and then we have written the transfer function of it also. So in this class, we will be doing something called analogous systems. So let's move on to the session. In this session, we will be doing something called analogous systems. Analogy means similar or equivalent. So given a mechanical system and differential equations governing it, we are going to derive electrical system and its differential equations which stand as an analogy for the given mechanical system. There are two types of analogies that we use. That is, in mechanical system, if force is equated to voltage in electrical system, then that particular analogy is known as force voltage analogy. If we are going to equate uh, force in the mechanical system to current in the electrical system, then that analogy is known as force current analogy. So there are two kinds, one is force voltage analogy and another one is force current analogy. When I say force in a mechanical translational system, it is equivalent to torque in mechanical rotational system. So when I use the word torque, you can even tell that torque voltage analogy and torque current analogy in mechanical rotational system. This slide will give an explanation on how we derive the electrical equivalent elements for mechanical uh, basic uh, elements like damper, mass and uh, spring. So in force voltage analogy, if the input is force in mechanical system, then the input in electrical system is voltage. If the output is velocity or displacement in a mechanical system, then the output in electrical system is your current. So force uh, equation for a damper that is the opposing force due to damper is given by B into dx by dt or B into V. So here in electrical system if a resistor is given a supply of uh, E the voltage drop across the resistor is given by V is equal to I into R. You can see that there is some similarity between these two equations that is these two equations are analogous to each other that is force should be equated to voltage, velocity to the current and damper will obviously be equated to resistance. So uh, equivalent element for uh, damper in electrical system is your resistor. So similarly for your mass element, the opposing force due to mass is given by m into d square x by dt, dt square or m, in, m into dv by dt that is it acceleration is given by dv by dt in case of inductor in a electrical circuit the voltage drop across the uh, inductor is given by v is equal to l into di by dt these two equations also are analogous to uh, uh, each of them that is uh, f should be equated to uh, voltage velocity should be equated to current and obviously mass becomes equivalent to element uh, inductor that is L. Here in case of uh, damper F is equal to Kx or in terms of velocity it is K into integral of V dt. So integration of velocity will, uh, will give you a displacement. So here we have written all the uh, equations in terms of velocity so that uh, you can easily compare the equations of electrical system and mechanical system. So voltage drop across the capacitor is given by V is equal to 1 by C integral of I dt. Now uh, if we uh, equate these two equations so that is uh, force becomes equivalent to voltage and uh, I, becomes, uh, I becomes equivalent to velocity here and K will be equivalent to 1 by C that is uh, uh, the element will be 1 by C. Okay. So these are the three equivalent elements in electrical system for mechanical translational system. In force current analogy, if the input is force in mechanical translational system, then the, here the input will be current because it is force current analogy. So force should be equated to current. The output velocity should be equated to output voltage here. 
So the expressions that we write now should be current expressions. Current expressions for uh, resistor, uh, capacitor and inductor so that you can uh, uh, find an analogous element for force current analogy. Force will be equated to current here. So uh, velocity will be equated to voltage. Then obviously damper will be equated to 1 by R. So in force current analogy, B is equivalent to 1 by R. Whereas in case of mass, uh, the equations are F is equal to M into dV by dt. The current through the capacitor is given by C into dV by dt. Here the uh, V stands for voltage. Uh, here please uh, write a small letter V because we can uh, differentiate between velocity and voltage. Okay, So the mass is equivalent to now capacitor. And in case of spring, it is... Uh, uh, here it is uh, I is equal to 1 by L integral of uh, voltage into dt. So when we uh, equate these two equations and see then the K becomes equivalent to 1 by L. So B equivalent to 1 by R, M equivalent to C, K equivalent to 1 by L. This slide summarizes the equivalent elements in electrical system for mechanical translation system as well as mechanical rotational system. For force voltage analogy, force is equated to voltage and for force current analogy, force is equated to current. Similarly, for mechanical rotational system, torque is equated to voltage and torque is equated to current in force current analogy or you can call it as torque current analogy. So similarly for mass, it is L in FV system and uh, uh, C in FI system. So Moment of inertia should be equated to uh, inductor in torque voltage analogy and moment of inertia has to be equated to capacitor in torque current analogy. So when you say when you equate uh, torque uh, you can uh, slightly change this analogy to torque voltage analogy and torque current analogy. So friction B uh, is equated or the equivalent element is resistor in electrical system that is force voltage analogy. And uh, the friction component uh, that is uh, B will be equated to 1 by R in force current analogy. So displacement, uh, veloc when uh, velocity is equated to current, obviously the displacement uh, uh, will be equated to charge because uh, dQ by dt is current, dx by dt is velocity. Okay? So this table summarizes the equivalent elements. Uh, in the next session, I will give you some examples where we convert the mechanical system into electrical system by using force voltage analogy and then force current analogy also.